Prince Harry scolded a TV journalist for asking him a question during his visit to a health clinic in Malawi, it emerged today. Sky News royal reporter Rhiannon Mills asked the Duke of Sussex an unscheduled question as he got into a car after a visit to the Malwa Health Centre on Tuesday. Harry, 35, had told a group of young people to hold on to your dreams while talking to them as he visited the clinic during his 10-day tour of Southern Africa. But as he was being led away into a waiting vehicle by palace officials, Ms Mills asked him, that short conversation, what do you hope to achieve through it? He replied, what? Ask them, pointing back towards the hospital, but the reporter added, is that why it's important for you to come and talk to them? Harry appeared to become frustrated with Ms Mills and gestured for her to move away from him as he got into the car, saying, Rhiannon, don't behave like this. The confrontation took place hours before the prince released a statement accusing media outlets of relentless propaganda and bullying, saying he feared his wife Meghan, 38, has fallen victim to the same powerful force as his mother Diana did before her death. The statement was released after the royal couple announced Meghan had decided to take legal action against the Mail on Sunday following publication of a letter to her estranged father Thomas Markle. During Harry's visit to the clinic in Malawi, he sat down for a private chat with the teenagers, after learning about the work of medical staff and other employees at the clinic. Sitting outside but under cover from the searing sun, the discussion was supposed to be about sexual health but also touched on other topics the Duke is passionate about, including climate change and conservation. A health official said, they asked him what challenges he faced when growing up and he did have challenges but he said they were not similar as the context was different. He told the young people to hold on to your dreams and he urged them to show kindness, empathy and work together. Harry had traveled to the village of Blantyre to see an innovative project funded by the US and UK governments which is ensuring that vaccines, drugs and other treatments are more readily available. The pharmacy in a box, a prefabricated, solar-powered and air-conditioned storage facility for medicines, means drugs are kept at the right temperature, are secure, and that the right amount is on hand. Health workers said the facilities, which now number more than 350 across Malawi, have cut thefts and reduced wastage of medicines, increased staff motivation, and encouraged people to seek treatment because they know the drugs are available. At the health center, patients can access a range of services from a maternity unit to malaria treatment as well as HIV testing and aftercare if someone is found to have the virus. Harry said of the drugs used to treat an HIV patient, you need to know your status and know there's medication, so you can have a happy and healthy life.